I'm Amy Norcorn Pitchett, and the project I've been working on um, is evaluating the relation of heart rate variability to cardiovascular disease through mathematical and computational modeling. So cardiovascular diseases are a leading cause of death worldwide. It is known that some types of instabilities of human heart rate can reflect the presence of cardiovascular diseases. Heart rate variability, or HRV, is one of the most analyzed indices for um, cardiovascular disease prognosis. And to understand the physiological mechanisms of heart rate variations, uh, we created a mathematical and computational model of the cardiovascular system. Our developed model predicts heart rate variability comparable to human heart rate data and can be used to predict abnormal heart rate patterns. Um, so HRV is the beat-to-beat -beat alteration of heart rate and can be measured from the signals of a standard non-invasive ECG. The variability in duration between beats reflects the autonomic nervous system control, specifically the activity of the sympathetic and parasympathetic tone. However, physiological mechanisms of some heart rate abnormalities are still unknown, even with existing models of heart rhythms, because these models um, do not properly reflect the physiological knowledge of the cardiovascular system to generate heart rate variability. Um, for instance, there are purely mathematical approaches which analyze heart rate and they do successfully model time series of heartbeats, but they do not relate to the physiological mechanisms causing the variations. Um, another approach is the system's representation of um, the cardiovascular system, which models heart rate while also including functions of organ systems. But since they use linearized differential equations, um, these models do not generate heart rate variations normal to humans. Um, and another cardiovascular modeling approach um, by Ursino and Magoso models physiological function and um, includes autonomic regulatory mechanisms. However, they do not provide the physiological source causing the change in heart rhythms within their system. Instead, they implement a random noise generator to generate the variability, and this limits the model since it does not physiologically explain why um, the heart rate variability emerges. So to address the shortcomings of current heart rate models, we created both a mathematical and computational model of the cardiovascular system. The mathematical model includes the main elements of the cardiovascular system within a feedback loop, where each component is described by equations based on physiological concepts. And we translated this to a computational model using Simulink. Um, since it's a feedback loop, we were able to break it up to study the individual components of the system and understand how they function. Um, MATLAB script was also incorporated to measure heart rate changes and, de and derive variables for a heart rate variability analysis, including average HRV. So here's um, the simulated model, and it, it, in and it includes cardiovascular control, heart and vessel dynamics, and regulatory mechanisms that reflect present um, physiological knowledge. Some key features are the SA node and AV node, which are nonlinear self-excitable oscillators, as opposed to simple sine wave oscillators. And this results in a complex interaction between the two. Um, there's also free running frequency constants included prior to both the SA node and AV node. Um, and these allow them to act as pacemaker cells they can continue to oscillate without an input voltage. And then there's also an input firing rate and an output of blood pressure from the Windkessel model. And the barrel receptor system regulates the blood pressure within the feedback loop. Um, and it has nonlinear properties to address the limitations of past linearized models that overlooked these nonlinear properties. Um, and experimentation of the model proceeded with investigating and testing the parameters to analyze the interaction between these main elements in the feedback system. So by modeling physiology correctly, arrhythmias should emerge on their own, and we found that the source of variability originates from the interaction between the SA node and the AV node. On the right here, um, there are time plots of the SA node in blue and the AV node in yellow. Um, and the model was able to generate capture where the AV node and SA node oscillate with a single frequency. So they're running one to one, which is physiologically accurate. And then the bottom plot here shows an example of, of an arrhythmia produced by our model where there's frequency doubling between the SA node and the AV node. So basically two beats from the AV node are generated from one beat of the SA node. Um, and these two nonlinear self-excitable oscillators generate heart arrhythmias, and such an interaction would not occur if nonlinear properties were not considered. 
The model was also tested under the same conditions, but with only one oscillator, and it did not generate any variability. Um, and the heart rate variability of these arrhythmias were further analyzed. So here's an example of the heart rate generated from the model. As you can see, between beats, there is heart rate variability um, present, and the time interval between each beat changes. Um, and then the MATLAB script can plot these changes uh, in the interval length between the beats and calculate average heart rate variability and other variables used to measure um, HRV, such as the standard deviation between RR intervals and the root mean square of successive RR intervals. Um, so here on the left is a plot of the heart rate variability per beat from the output heart rate of the model. Um, this heart rate variability was calculated by the change in period between the consecutive RR intervals. Um, and then the positive and negative changes here indicate sympathetic simulation and parasympathetic simulation, respectively. So when the incoming blood pressure is too high, the baroreceptor system will trigger the parasympathetic control to slow down the heart rate. Um, and likewise, if the incoming blood pressure is too low, it will trigger the sympathetic control to increase the simulation of the firing rate. Um, and also heart rate vari variability typically ranges from 30 to 140 milliseconds, depending on which variable is used to analyze it. And here the average HRV was calculated to be 132 milliseconds, which is comparable to human heart rate variability data. And then uh, these time plots of the changes in beat to beat periods were analyzed using power spectral analysis, which showed that there is an inverse relationship between frequency and magnitude. Um, spectral analysis of heart rate variability is important because it can identify risks for cardiovascular diseases. Um, the power spectrum here also displays the frequency doubling, um, which elicits high heart rate variability. And we also generated the power spectrum at varying strengths of the heart. And there's typically a peak around the average human heart rate of one hertz or 60 beats per minute. Um, and then here's just uh, heart rate variability of the heart period pattern and a power spectrum from Ursino's model. Um, within our model, uh, we included a parameter within the AV node, which reflects the strength of the heart. And we assessed the relation between um, heart rate variability and contractility of the heart by reducing this parameter. Um, HRV generally increases with an increase in the strength of the heart, which is represented here by the contractility. And studies have shown that heart failure is associated with lower contractility of the heart, as well as a reduction in heart rate variability. Um, and then hypertension is also related to overall lower heart rate variability values and low SDNN uh, can predict mortality. Um, and here, uh, the SDNN typically ranges from 30 to 80 milliseconds, which was also predicted by our model. Um, and then our model's blood pressure regulation was tested by changing the initial conditions of the model. According to the American Heart Association, normal blood pressure is defined as a systolic pressure below 120 millimeters of mercury and the diastolic pressure below 80. Um, and regardless of the change in our initial condition, the blood pressure stabilized to one comparable to human data due to the model's baroreceptor regulation. Um, so some conclusions is by using a systems representation of the cardiovascular system, we were able to include physiological function in our model and generate both normal heart rates and arrhythmias. And our model predicts heart rate variability comparable to healthy human heart rate data. Um, some future direction includes in, in investigating effects of the baroreceptor uh, system on heart rate variability, as well as comparing our model to human heart rate data for cardiovascular disease conditions, um, to, such as heart failure. And we would also like to apply the model's results of abnormal heart rate patterns to cardiovascular disease methods, detection methods, and health monitoring devices that measure heart rate. And with this, cardiovascular disease and risk can be detected earlier so that precautionary measures and therapeutic interventions can be implemented to benefit the cardiovascular health of patients. Um, thank you.